in a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Hello and welcome back, my faithful nerdettes and neckbeards, to Pycrum Studios at youtubecom Pycrums. I'm your host James, better known as Spider with a Pie, and this is my blind-ish playthrough of uh, Alan Wake for the PC. Last time we had to defend this badass rock stage with some crazy metal playing against the Taken. They totally wanted to get up here and touch my man boobs. If we kicked their asses. We're here on the Anderson farm. Gonna get some moonshine or something. We were told to come here by the crazy old coots in the clinic that we escaped from not too long ago. Come on, Barry. Lead the way, fatty. Oh, man. There's a manuscript page all the way back there. Barry. Watch my back. All right, Barry, what's the See, plan? See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, dude, that's been that's my biggest worry all this time. That's what I was about to say, Alan. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. All right, well, you just hold tight there, Bear. Let's see what I can figure out. I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'm sunk all day long. <laughs> I'm always dense and moody. It makes me very attractive. Barry, I'm gonna shoot you. Here he is. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. Wow. Did you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Viking crap, your crap. Look at all this stuff. Sleep. We all spend uh, a few oh, night in soft embrace. We're not watching Night Springs, Barry. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? The Viking boat looked imposing. Almost like a battering ram. Cause we're gonna use it as one. Oh, oh, ew. Thank you. Oh, so helpful, Barry. Um, what was that? I don't want to read. They had a tour schedule. Great. Creepy motion blur and sounds. That's just what I wanted. Pick up them energizers. What's up, guy? Bad truck. Don't even think about it. Nice job helping, Barry. Should I give you one of these guns so you... Oh, I don't know. Quit being such a pussy. Help me out just a little bit. That looks like a distillery. Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. How about, uh, to the door that I just kicked open? That seemed like a way out? Or a way to a way out? Be careful, Al! Careful's my middle name. My name is Alan Careful Wake, a writer. Who are you? Dear 
just as one of those here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy. This stuff. Look at which concerns and I'm going to I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. You've got to be kidding me! Nope. No joking here, Al. Oh shit. Get back here so I can kill you. Okay. Change of plans. Cool story, bro. I'm gonna eat lots of them. Open. Of course it's locked. Farmer Joe, your license has been revoked. Oh, I gotta go. God damn it. Come on, Al, open the door already. Seriously, I don't like it if you. Hey, let's go, man. I'm way ahead of you on this plan. I got attacked by a giant thresher. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It's pretty heavy. Hey, Good. I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. Well, it we will fit right in. Ha ha ha. I could be a writer. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome. I agree. They do sound awesome. And let there be light. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. I want to jam out on that guitar. Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Uh, I'm, I'm with Barry yeah. for once. What the hell? Let's get drunk, Alan. I want to go get some beer myself. That's a very nice Citizen Kane camera pan. Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? As you keep telling me that, I don't believe you at all. Stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> well, it's not. I, you have to have a brain first. Be a, a, a booze millionaire. A bazillionaire? I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's going to be okay. We're going to make it okay. What's in the house with us? I don't trust this at all. Is it a gremlin? 
Is it a triple? I'm gonna throw up all over Barry. Wake up, Alan. I'm other Alan. I'm cardboard Alan. Damn it. What is going on? I'm a ghost. I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember being surprised to see the cabin Alice? dark. Alice. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. <sighs> Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice. And so she had me. Alice! <coughs> Who's Jagger? I had the, the crazy lady in the lacy get up. I spooky been easy crazy play. lady. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, it's a trap. That's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind Alice? you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. Bullshit. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! You oh, killed us. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. I'm gonna write. You're... You have really no uh, creative abilities. I'm just gonna write you what I want to, lady. Back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is the year now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. 
Go Allen for being super clever. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Are coming for you, Barbara. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. You probably go get a burger or five. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. And he'll continue to do so until the end of the game. That's right, me sleepy, James Alan. Joyce, it's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. <gasps> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, be safe and take it easy.